The story of Perseus and Medusa is perhaps one of the most well-known stories in the entirety of Greek mythology, and it's definitely one that elicits a very strong emotional reaction. Whenever I discuss either Medusa or Athena, I always see the exact same question in the comments section. Why would Athena help Medusa, but then help Perseus kill her? Now this of course refers back to the role that Athena played in Medusa's transformation, specifically the version where Athena turned Medusa into a Gorgon as a means of protection. Athena then helping Perseus kill Medusa doesn't make a whole lot of sense to a lot of people. Why give someone the means to protect themselves if you're just going to kill them anyway? Now my problem with this specific question is not the question itself, it's that most people asking it don't seem to want an answer. They don't want to examine the story, they want to take the stance that Medusa was treated unfairly, and so everything that follows must be this great injustice. Perseus isn't the hero of this story, he's just the villain. Athena isn't the goddess of wisdom, she's just jealous and evil. I'm so upset that they killed my queen Medusa that I'm going to ignore all of the other characters and whatever motives they may have, because Medusa is the only one that matters. Now if you do approach a story from this bubble where Medusa is the only important character that the entire story centers around, not only are you entirely wrong, but you'll never really understand the story nor any of its characters. For the sake of context, Perseus didn't just walk into Medusa's lair and kill her without any reason. To summarize this story, Perseus was sent by King Polydectes to retrieve Medusa's head as a gift, in the hopes that he would be slain in the process. With Perseus out of the picture, there would be no one left to stop him marrying his mother. Not trusting the king and wanting to avoid this entire situation, Perseus accepted the request and vowed to bring back the gift that he promised. If we look at the oldest depictions, Medusa was born a Gorgon, so this entire transformation process never actually happened. Medusa and Athena don't really have a connection, and so there's no real conflict of interest when it comes to Athena then helping Perseus. The only version of the story where this question can even be applied to is where Athena transforms Medusa because she wanted to help her, because here you can make the argument that assisting Perseus effectively undoes everything that she had previously done. Where this argument kind of falls flat on its face is the fact that there are other characters in this story, and Medusa is certainly not the central figure. This is very much Perseus's story. Retrieving the head of Medusa is just one small part of his overall journey. Perseus needing help then turned to Athena, who along with the other gods gave him various trinkets and weapons to aid him on his quest. Many also believe that Athena guided his sword when he actually beheaded Medusa. So why exactly did Athena help Perseus after she had already helped Medusa? First of all, Athena was a hero's patron, and Perseus wasn't just any hero, he was also her half-brother. So when a hero who also happens to be your brother comes to you in need of assistance, a goddess as loyal as Athena would never turn away family and refuse her duties because she had previously helped someone else. Family comes first is a sentiment that I'm sure many people agree with, and it's very likely that Athena would always prioritize Perseus over Medusa. Just because she helped Medusa once doesn't mean she owes her an eternity of protection. It's also entirely possible that Athena made a mistake. Medusa's transformation may not have had the desired effect or outcome. It's no secret that after the transformation, Medusa's life would have changed, and most likely not for the best. She would have been driven into isolation, and even hunted as a trophy, not a life that sounds particularly enjoyable. What was meant as a way to give Medusa the power to protect herself ended up just completely isolating her from the world around her. Athena perhaps regretting her decision could have seen helping Perseus as a way of releasing Medusa from what she perceived to be a miserable existence, while still being able to help Perseus at the same time. Or maybe Athena being as pragmatic as she was weighed each alternative and decided that Medusa's head would do more good than she would be capable of while alive, deciding that it would be for the greater good. There are numerous reasons why Athena would help Perseus kill Medusa, but it mostly just depends on which interpretation of the story that you choose to believe. Realistically, there's no real way for us to know exactly why, and these are just some of my own theories, so feel free to agree or disagree, but if you do have your own theories, then please share them. So I guess this is where I segue into plugging our book. For those that don't know, a good friend of mine and I have been working on a book based on Greek mythology that retells some of our favourite stories. One of the stories details Medusa's life as a mortal and the events that led to her transformation. It's a take on Medusa that we don't really see much, and I think it's one of the rare occasions where she's actually given a personality and appears as more than just a character caught in someone else's story. The book is scheduled to be released on January 15th, but you can pre-order your Kindle and hardcover versions now on Amazon and most major book retailers. I'll leave a link in the description in the comments for you guys to click on. I do honestly really enjoy these more theory-based videos as opposed to always explaining something. If it's something you guys would like to see more of, then please leave any questions that you'd like to see me attempt to answer. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.